This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. For a long time, I've wrestled internally with how I feel about liberals appearing on or being employed by Fox News. Because I'm not just sure, I'm not sure of the, the efficacy of it. I'm not sure it really has any impact. But it's moments like the one I'm getting ready to show you with Jessica Tarloff, who's one of the token liberals on that show they have, The Five, um, that makes me question or just adds to the conversation that runs in my head about whether or not I, I think it's okay. Not like it matters whether I think it's okay. That's not what I'm saying. I just, I feel like, <laughs> I, I feel like uh, something that, that uh, Elizabeth Warren said a few years ago, that she's not going to appear on Fox News because she's not going to fill their coffers, boost their ratings when they are a white nationalist network. It was something along those lines. And I tend to feel that way. I don't tend to feel there's a whole bunch of impact by having a token liberal uh, repeat talking points from the Democratic National Committee. But yesterday, Jessica Tarloff didn't do that. She did something a little different, and it really reinvigorated that conversation in me. I've been talking about Donald Trump being unhinged and Donald Trump being just loose with facts, un un untethered to reality, uh, that maybe he's in some cognitive decline that we're witnessing and over a series of videos, you know, day to day to day, I talk about these things and I, I reach an audience, but my audience is you. It's typically liberals. It's typically Democrats. So when Jessica Tarloff has an opportunity to roll through a litany of things that Donald Trump has done that are just batshit crazy, that are absolutely unjustifiable, that you can't explain away, all in rapid succession to a conservative audience, that's what makes me think that maybe there is some good use to having people like her employed by the network. Check out this moment, and then let's talk about it on the other side. Remember when Biden said, I got, you know, I'm going to go take a nap or it's late. And Peter said that he was working to the wee hours of the night. He said he's ha held a complete schedule. And our perception around the world, by the way, is up since Biden came into the, into the presidency. Based on what? I, based on what other world leaders and people in other countries think of America. But you said, OK, you don't need to watch him. Let's just hear what comes out of his mouth. And I put together some of Trump's latest cognitive beauties from the last 10 days. He said you need an ID to buy bread. Has anyone shown ID to get Wonder Bread lately? He said that he ran against Obama in 2016. He ran against Hillary Clinton. He warned that Biden will get us into World War II, which I'm pretty sure we already fought and won. And yesterday, he confused Jeb Bush and George W. Bush and said that Jeb got us involved in the Middle East. And then, of course, there are his authoritarian posts on Truth Social calling for the chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff to be executed. And saying that he's going to investigate media companies that he doesn't well, like. You know and can you imagine if Biden said, you know what, I'm going to look into that Fox News. This, they don't seem to like me over there. This may be the choice that people have. Yeah. Uh, Trump versus Biden. Um, laid bare here, Jesse. At least Trump can say LL Cool J, Jessica. <laughs> Are you <laughs> in a prompter? ID to so buy bread. Biden has to stay upright and Trump has to stay out of prison. Think of how ridiculous that is. That is the most corrupt and low expectation situation where Joe Biden has to not fall flat on his face to have a shot at reelection. And he promised us he would get us back to normal. But all he's worried about is making himself look normal. He's not worried about inflation. It's not like, oh, if I could just get inflation down. Notice while she's talking, it's silent. It's, it's shuffling papers, trying to ignore what's being said. And then when Jesse Waters, the abject dumb shit, has a chance to respond, it's what about this, what about this, what about this, what about this, what about this? No addressing anything that she said. No addressing that Donald Trump just said with his mouth that he ran against and beat Barack Obama in 2016. That Joe Biden's going to lead us into World War II that you need ID, the repeated claim that you need ID to buy groceries. And then not addressing at all that he's calling for or justifying the execution of the current, soon to be former, Joint Chief of Staff. 
a four-star American patriot general in the army. No talk of that. No, no defense of it because it's indefensible. No talk of Donald Trump attempting to end democracy in America. And, and largely, in part, because Fox News worked hand in hand with Donald Trump to end democracy in America. So again, the question still remains in my mind. I still wrestle with the conversation internally about whether or not it's good or bad or some mix of the two, that's obviously what the answer is, uh, of having someone like Jessica Tarloff on the show. But if she's able to peel off um, assist in the evaporation of support for the Republican Party when people hear what she says and then notice there's no defense of it, maybe there is some good. Anyway, uh, it, it is a conversation that I will continue to wrestle with, and I hope you do too. I would love your opinion. We can absolutely mix it up and have a conversation in the comments. Um, we can disagree agreeably, as I am often want to say. You can also call and leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054, or you can email me the old-fashioned way, daily at dollamore.com. If I am the type that you appreciate, if I bring you value, if I bring you information that you appreciate, or if I'm just a, a generally entertaining fella, <laughs> I'm not, uh, please consider supporting my work. You can click the join button below these YouTube videos, see what's involved to become a channel member for $2 a month. You can become a channel member and help produce the content that we make on a daily basis here and on my podcast and on Brittany Page's channel as well. All of it goes to support all of the content we create. You can also hit the super thanks button or go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, just like channel memberships, just on a different platform, different perks, blah, blah, blah. Follow me on social media if that's your thing. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, TikTok, threads, Instagram, Facebook. That's about it. If you're there, you can find me there at Dollamore. Uh, I'll see you next time. I appreciate you very much. Be genuine. Take care of one another.